Kailachenko. Looking for McCall, but uh, just too much pace in that one. The intention was good, though. And Rangers will want to bring uh, Mikhailichenko more into the game. But again, McCall working extremely hard in the Rangers' cause. So Martin Navarrete of Spain, the referee this evening. That's Brown's header. Cut out by Stalins and then Van der Elst. And it's played upfield by Quarta. And that's a throw to Club Bruges. It's a play through now to Daniel Amakachi. Goes down by Brown. This is Peter Crever. Again, it's a good cross. It puts McPherson in a bit of trouble. Murray fails to clear, but he recovers well. Caught again, though, and it's cleared by Alexei Mikhailichenko. Now well, Stalin's climbing above Haefeli, but it uh, breaks to McPherson. And that's a free kick against Booty Boy. You know, the referee wants the kick taken from a different area, and he's just telling the Rangers defenders to calm down. He speaks very good English, does uh, Antonio Navarrete, Antonio Martin Navarrete. So it's aimed at McCoyst. Little touch to Haefeli, but uh, he's well policed. Now it's Mikhailichenko. So it's Murray switching the play to Nisbet. And it's played in behind Mikhailichenko. This is Verheer. Trevor plays it through to Boy, he's challenged by Brown, breaks through to Haefeli, but in steps Lorenzo Stalins. They come Rangers again though. Murray plays it to Haustra. Still Haustra, he gets it through to McCoyst. Oh, Bruges slowing it down. Borkelmans to Van der Elst. This little turn against Murray. Borkelmans again. And the throw goes to Bruges. This is Amakachi. Vanderels, it's Amakachi again. Bortelmans. Spired long by Quarta. Mikhailichenko back helping defence. It's swept away by Robertson. Looking for Haefeli. And it's won by Stellins. Borkelmans and it comes off uh, Haustra so just over 25 minutes gone here and still no scoring the header from Haefeli returned by McCall to McCoyst now it's Mikhailichenko this is Stuart McCall McCoyst running just ahead of him and Stalins makes a good challenge on McCoyst So it's Brown with the free kick, it's aimed at Hitley. It's uh, Bruges on the break through Bortelmans. It's well cut out by McPherson, it's Bortelmans again to Amakachi. This is Van der Elst laying it off to Dubinsky. Shot well wide off target. 
Thomas Dubinsky always likes to get forward for a crack at goal. Meanwhile, Archie Knox shouting instructions to his players. A point would be a bad result on this match tonight, but I'm quite sure Rangers is the chase Marseille. Would very much like to go home with the victory. And of course, the next match is also against Club Bruges at Ibrox in uh, two weeks' time. Then it's Marseille on April the 7th and CSKA Moscow at Ibrox on April the 21st. It's Verheyen's header to Fuki Boy and he's caught high by John Brown. Immediately the referee awards the free kick but uh, the player will require some treatment. Yeah, just one of those thing, things here. Um, John Brown, Fouquet Boy going for the ball. John Brown sees it, but doesn't see his head, and unfortunately ca caught him in the face. But he's up again, back on his feet, so there's no real problem there for Bruges. So he is recovered, and the match will restart with the free kick. Sent forward by Quarter. And uh, it's a free kick against Robertson for his challenge on Daniel Amakachi. Another anxious moment coming up for Andy Gorham and his defenders. And again, that's the signal for Bruges to send a lot of the defenders forward. A lot of very tall defenders, like Rudy Cossey. So Gorham getting things organised. And the free kick being left to Alex Quarter, the sweeper, who's coming forward to take it with his left foot, curling it in, it's a dangerous one, headed away by Brown and as far as Clever it's Van der Elst Dubinsky to Borkelmans watched all the way by Gorham and well handled and Lamakachi was coming in behind him They've put some terrific free kicks and crosses into the box tonight, but um, the Rangers defence, and John Brown in particular, has handled, handled that situation really well. And Andy Gorham's looking very confident. So it's Hitley battling for it. And the uh, throw-in goes the way of Bruges. Now Rangers on a bit of a revenge mission tonight because both Hearts and Hibs went out of the UEFA Cup to Standard Liège and Anderlecht. Hibs rather unluckily on goal difference. And Matt De Grees, the Belgian player, saying that uh, he couldn't get over the pace of the Scottish side that night. And uh, Rangers hopefully through their fitness will cause Bruges problems as this game goes on. But meanwhile it's Spooky Boy, the Dutch international player, who's on the ground. Yeah, it's not been his lucky night so far. It looks like another um, nasty head knock he's got. I think he was involved in a little collision there with David McPherson. Well, again, the Spanish referee calming everything down. Highly experienced official. He handled the Porto PSV Eindhoven Champions League tie uh, in November. He's been over this course before. So that's half an hour gone. And it's Bruges nil, Rangers nil. Houstra gets a second bite at it, finds Murray, it's through for Haitley, Haitley takes it well, he's being pursued by Stalins, this is Mikhail Lichenko, a good run uh, by McCall taking a defender with him, giving Mikhail Lichenko some more space, that's McPherson who's well forward, the Rangers more players forward now than at any stage in this match so far, but it's uh, headed away by Cuerta, that's a free kick against Scott Nisbet, and again, Fuki Boy on the end of it. Yeah, I think Scott Nisbet was just a little bit hesitant going towards that when he looked favourite for the ball, but obviously he's taken that earlier booking into consideration. So that's uh, Hauser making the challenge, and the ball goes out of play, and uh, it's a throw to Bruges. This is Dubinsky. Through for Amakachi, but McPherson's with him all the way. McPherson stumbling all, uh, it's a free kick though. The referee well up with the play, immediately awarded the free kick against Amakachi. It's 
So Nisbet fires a long one looking for Hatley. Stallings of climbs above him. This is Borkelmans. Taking on Murray. And the offside flag is up. And there was no doubt about that one. Again, the pace of uh, Robertson, such a comfort to Rangers when a ball goes through like that. Yeah, I doubt if there's anybody quicker in this field tonight, Jerry, that's quicker than Davy Robertson. He really has got tremendous pace. So this is Cookie by for Bruges to Frankie van der Els. Treves breaking on the right. That's an excellent ball through to Treve, but some back the offside flag. Goes up against the Bruges player. Well, again, the referee saying he doesn't want any back chat. As I said earlier, he speaks very good English. And uh, Stuart McCall and the others will have to be very careful indeed. It's played through now, looking for Hatley. He did well there. This is McCall. Snipped away though by Quarter. He takes a return from Van der Elst. It's cut out by McPherson to Brown. Alexei Mikhailichenko. Hatley. Well, he just sends it behind uh, Robertson. That falls out of play. And it was the pass that put uh, Robertson under pressure. Uh, David Robertson playing his 45th consecutive game of the season for Rangers tonight. Uh, he's their only ever present. And this is Preve to Boy. Preve again. He's got Verheyen on the outside, but he sends in the cross. Have a catch, he's in there. That wasn't far away. In this diving header by Daniel Amakachi. Well, this is another terrific cross from Kreva. Amakachi just gets in front of Davy Header. Davy McPherson there, powerful header, but thankfully for Rangers, just slips past the post. Well, Amakachi scored 12 goals after the turn of the year to clinch the championship for Bruges last season. Uh, the form has dipped a bit this year but he's still a major threat this is Verheyen to Boy it's cut out by Mikhailichenko away by Robertson this is Murray Robertson well Houstra has uh, switched over to the left hand side of the field and this is Houstra racing through he's beaten to it though by Cuerta. Murray digs in well. This is Mikhailichenko. Lovely skills by Alexei Mikhailichenko. A bit of space opening up here. This is McCall with Nisbet away to his right. This is better play by Rangers. Ball takes a deflection into the path of McCoist. It's off the bar. And Mikhailichenko sends it over. Well, how unlucky for Ali McCoist. But having said that, Van der Hels was so unlucky at the other end. Yeah, breaks, breaks lovely here. McCoy makes a near post run. Looks up, tries the cross, I feel. I don't think he really went to chip the goalkeeper. It falls on Mikhailichenko. You look here again. This is a great opportunity. So Mikhailichenko just snatching at it. So still no scoring here in Bruges with just under 10 minutes of the first half left. But Rangers lifting the pace. Confidence surging now, but uh, poor pass there by McCall as he tried to find McCoyst. And the bricks possibly on here. This is Borkelmans, who's so good at breaking in that left side. Our catch is in the middle. So too is Spooky Boy. Trevi coming forward as well. And that's well cut out by McPherson. This is Nisbet. High one for Hatley. It's headed away though by Rudy Cossey. Good challenge by Nisbet against Dubinsky. And McCoyson there battling away with Cossey. But now it's Frankie van der Elst for Bruges. Plays it through looking for the pace of having catch it. Robertson's with the ball away, and Robertson did extremely well. 
Well, Clem should say the ball came off the Rangers player, but uh, in actual fact it uh, must have come off. I'm a catchy. I think Rangers might have just been a little bit fortunate there. I'm a catch, a great pace, but fortunately for Rangers it was David Robertson that was in that situation. And it looks to me here, does he get a little nudge? I think he might just a toe poke that, to, back, that back to Andy Gorham. Well, Rangers fortunate to survive that. Lightning pace from Amakachi. Well, we spoke earlier about the pace of uh, Robertson. But uh, Rangers uh, lucky there that uh, the referee obviously thought it come off the Bruise player. Allowing uh, Gorham to pick it up. Well, McPherson is well forward and he's given it away. And the break is certainly on here for Bruce. This is Verheim. Through to Van der Elst. This is Amakachi. And John Brown comes across to concede the throw in. Trevor. And that uh, tells Cookie Boy comes off the uh, clear by Brown. And well taken by Gorham from Bortleman. Yeah, good handling there by Andy Gorham because Bo Bokum would hit that and it just took a little bounce in front of Andy Gorham. So the final minutes of this first half ticking away. Still no scoring. Both sides have hit the crossbar. Van der Elst for Bruce and McCoy's for Rangers. This is Haitley winning it well. Murray plays it forward to McCoy's, but there's no support for him. That's Van der Elst. Good play by Kreva under pressure from Mikhailichenko. Well, Trevor, a highly experienced player, 31 years of age with more than 300 league appearances behind him. He kept possession well there, played it to Zabinski. That's Bortelmans. Well, Stellens has uh, had broken forward there in the hope of the cross ball being played in. He's still up there, he's broken out of his defensive role. So, six minutes left, and that goes in there from Stellens. Well, he's broken forward from his defensive role. He has been playing up front on occasion for Bruce. And uh, certainly carries a threat in there. He wasn't picked up. So that gets the Bruce fans going again. But this is Murray for Rangers. He's played extremely well in this first half. A switch of play by Mikhailichenko to Nisbet. This is McPherson. It's aimed at Haitley. McCoy's in there as well. McCall wins it. This is Haustra. He's challenged though by Van der Elst. It's Van der Elst against McCall. McCall opening up a bit of space on him there, but eventually it goes behind. So we're inside the final five minutes of this first half. But, uh, McCall pushing forward at every opportunity, jousting there with uh, Van der Elst. It's certainly been an open, attack, open attacking first half with, with both sides having chances, but um, I think it'd be fair to say that um, Bruges have had uh, slightly the better openings than Rangers. That's McPherson's header, picked up by McCoyst. Van der Elst, a slip by Trevor, played through by Mikhailichenko for Haitley. Still Haitley motoring through here, and the goalkeeper does well. It's Mikhailichenko trying the first time ever. Oh, a terrific effort by Mikhailichenko, but uh, the referee has uh, spotted an infringement and uh, given a free kick. Great awareness by Alexei Mikhailichenko, who tonight uh, is playing his fourth European tie of the season. Yeah, I thought he was going to make up for his um, earlier headed miss here. Terrific imagination, looks up. I mean, it's most certainly got in there if it's not cleared off the line by the defender. So that was uh, Quarter who did some uh, excellent defending. Uh, that's Robertson. 
making the challenge and uh, throw in goes Bruce Way. There's Hugo Bruce, the coach. And again, the throw in goes the way of Bruce. Well, a highly entertaining first half, absolutely no doubt about that. And despite their indifferent league form, again, Bruges showing that uh, on European occasions they can certainly raise their game. Uh, a couple of players stumbling inside the box. Eventually, it's hooked away by Mikhailichenko. So just under three minutes of this first half left. Still no scoring here in Bruges. This is Verheyen. He's tackled by McCall. Pleons as the referee. But, uh, Murray's pass cut out by Stalins. And it's a throw-in. Rangers and Hugo Bruce again uh, uh, he's also a highly gifted player he played for Anderlecht and Bruce which I suppose is the equivalent here of playing for both Rangers and Celtic uh, he certainly won a few medals in his time but the offside flag is up against Amakechi well, Rangers know what to expect from this man in the second half. He's shown lightning pace in the opening 45 minutes. But here come Rangers through Haustra. Hatley's in there. He gets the touch, but uh, a free kick awarded against them. So now just under two minutes of this first half left. But Hatley with uh, three goals in Europe this season. He's Rangers' top scorer in this championship. Van der Els playing it through. But, uh, Brown read the situation well and he decided not to put his goalkeeper under pressure and that brings some applause from Andy Gorham. So that will be the long throw from Peter Krever. Okay, Boy gets a touch. Michaela Chen goes in there, he's set it up. This is a terrible attempt at a defensive header here. I mean, the long throw, which has caused Rangers once one or two problems in the first half, and I don't really know what Mike Kelichenko's thinking about there. And unfortunately, in that instance, fell lovely for Dubinsky. It's back of the net. So, Alexei Mikhailichenko, it was, who slipped up on Saturday at Ibrox against Hearts when the ball came off his head and then it came off his shoulder. That's the age old story about attacking players in their own penalty area dreadful goal for Rangers to lose so we're now into injury time and there goes the half time whistle well what a blow for Rangers who had held through so well for 44 minutes but a mistake by Alexei Mikhailichenko initially the defence of Failed to clear the ball and Rangers paid the penalty. The half time score here in Belgium is Club Bruges 1, Rangers 0. the world will become a safer place. A steering wheel airbag is fitted to every single Mondeo.
scores again. <laughs> he gave it 100%, didn't he? And 100% is what I want from you lot. Shredded wheat is 100% whole wheat. No other cereal gives you more whole wheat goodness. Perfect score to Hedrick. Oh. You when he could still put away three. Get out of it. Shredded wheat and new shredded wheat, bite size, 100% whole wheat. Cadbury's Boost. It's slightly rippled with a flat underside. What kind of investment company would venture out when most sit tight? One which in the 1974 recession bought shares when most sold and saw them leap in early 75. One who sold heavily in 87 before the Black Monday crash. One with expertise in all financial climates. Scottish widows, looking good for your investments. For the wildlife, we sail you closer to nature on our fine fleet. For the gentle life, we take you far from the jostling crowds to the haunting beauty of the Orkney and Shetland Islands. For the good life, we offer you inclusive holidays, mini cruises and regular sailings, spoiling you all the way. P&O Scottish Ferries, for the sea life to Orkney and Shetland. This is Murray. Murray is going to demonstrate that it can be a very insecure feeling getting into something without knowing exactly what you're going to get out of it. Perhaps somebody should tell Murray about national savings. Where security has never been so interesting. Oi! Come on, life's always better in the sun. How do they get their stories? Now all can be revealed. Someone called me up and said, I'm the one who squealed. Taylor's picked an England team that's put him on a roll. It's Gazza, 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 uh, with Gazza in the goal. Will Eurocrats in Brussels unify the nations and standardise your sausage to meet the regulations? In the sun! In the sun, in the sun! Life's always better in the sun. In the sun, in the sun! In the sun! They think it's all over. It is now. 